and I'm officially at the point where I regret all of it. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison if you are new here and today we are going to tackle my pantry. We are going to take everything out of it, clean everything, declutter anything expired that we don't use, anything that's gone bad. We have a bunch of new organization bins from Amazon that I'm so excited to use and then we're going to reorganize everything back in the bins, put it back there, make it more functional, make it a better space. Overall, improve everything about my pantry because it's a really, really dark sad place right now. So it starts off with a little bit of organization at the bottom and as you work your way up it gets more and more and more chaotic until like it's just not usable like up here I don't even know what's in these shelves so if you guys are ready for this video please give it a like please subscribe and turn on the notification bells it really helps me make more videos for you guys the more you engage the more you comment the longer you watch the better it is for me and the more videos I can make for you guys to see in the future if this video does well I'll probably be doing like a part two to this where we go and clean out the entire fridge and put new organization bins in there and like completely make over that area, but I'm getting ahead of myself. We're gonna focus on the pantry today and let's get started. So this is everything I ordered for this project from Amazon. These four pieces came in a set for a very, very good price. I will have all of it linked below if you wanna check it out. But I also know that the brand M Design is carried in most um, TJ Maxx's, Marshalls, Home Goods, those kinds of places. So if you wanna try there, you can also find them there. Now, obviously this guy is for eggs, so we will not be using him today. But these four guys, I think will be going into the pantry. And the reason we have this guy, in addition to the set that I bought, was I thought he'd be a great size to put our tin foil, cling wrap, parchment paper, any of those kinds of things in this like taller bin to keep it standing upright to save more space because you'll see in a minute that that organization is a hot mess. But first thing I'm gonna do is wash all of these guys, peel the stickers off of them, get them drying so it's like ready to have food put into them. best thing about these is they're like the stickers that peel off completely clean and don't leave any residue behind. Okay, all of the bins are out and clean and it's time to start the terrifying part. I'm going to pull absolutely everything out of the pantry and I don't know if it's all going to fit because we don't have that much counter space, but we have our dining room table right there. So hopefully we can just bring everything out, spread it all out, and then just start completely fresh on this project. Please say a prayer for me. Ashamed of or proud of our Chick fil A sauce collection? So, I don't think that my plan to fit everything on just the counter space and not the floor or anywhere else is really gonna work out because all of this is already full and we've only done one, two, three of the drawers. Granted, that's where the bulk of the stuff is, but we have stuff all the way to the back of the cabinet up there and then this like really giant thing down here with the storage unit, which I don't know if you can see, it goes all the way back there and there's stuff all the way back there. So we'll find out where all of this goes. At this point in the process, it seemed like emptying my pantry would never be over. It seemed like there was always going to be one more thing that I would find at the bottom or the back of a shelf. So I was very, very, very happy when this was finally all wrapped up and finished. And I'm officially at the point where I regret all of it. So we have this pantry completely empty now. Oh, actually, I'm gonna grab the cutting boards out of there. I'm also gonna pull this out. This came from Target. It was like maybe 20 bucks, I don't know. It fit in there pretty nicely. So I'm gonna pull that out, clean, wipe down all the cabinets, and then start to purge. Hopefully I'll be throwing away a lot of stuff or at least donating it or finding another home for it because there is just so much stuff in that pantry that I think the only way for it to actually be more functional and better and easier to use and a pleasurable experience to like get food out of is if a lot of this stuff is not going back in the pantry. There's just too much stuff here to fit into that cabinet. And 
it might be hard for you to see, but those gray marks are caused by our big baking sheets and pans and um, our cooling rack always slamming against this. So I definitely want to find a different way to store them. I have an idea. I hope it works. And then if that works, we're also going to be able to take these hooks down. This is where I hang our cutting boards. But if I can find a home for the baking pans, I think there will also be room to put the cutting boards with them too. our pantry because it's janky we are trucking along everything is wiped down and clean and we are almost ready for the next step my hair went up because it's getting to that point in the declutter and if you've seen any of my other videos from decluttering you know that I normally take a coffee break typically around the middle point of the project and I really want to take one right now but I'm going to tell myself no that I have to keep working and I'm going to do all of the purging. I want to go through and get rid of anything that we don't need and throw it away or put it somewhere else and like get it out of the space before I take my coffee break. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe it was me starting to look forward to my coffee after this, but I started bouncing from location to location. So from the dining room table to this part of the island to the counter next to the stove. But at this point in the video, things started getting a little bit chaotic and I was honestly not really following a rhyme or reason. I was just walking around looking for things to declutter or get rid of. So bear with me while I'm kind of just shuffling away through this entire kitchen and just bouncing from place to place. Over here, I just ended up moving my chia seeds from a bigger container to a smaller container. That way I could reuse the larger container for something else. And then the rest of what I did was mostly just consolidating other containers, getting rid of extra packaging, and just basically getting rid of junk that didn't need to be sitting in the pantry. I didn't do that fantastic of a job of decluttering stuff. Most of the stuff is fresh and good. We only moved into this apartment maybe eight months ago. So I've just consolidated some things, thrown out some trash. There were a couple things that we definitely weren't gonna use again in the future. Like we used it like once or twice and hated it. So we have that gone in the trash. I have some things to wash. We got rid of some packaging and I think it's time to start moving things back. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see what happens next. The first thing I am doing in this new empty pantry is moving this pot organizer that I'm gonna give you a closer look at in a second into the pantry. This is mainly what I was excited about doing for this pantry. I was so ready to get these pans out of the bottom of the pantry and I'll explain more of that later, but this is definitely the thing that I was most excited to do for this pantry. I also was really excited when I did find this bin on Amazon because it was perfect for the storage solution I needed for these tinfoil and saran wrap packages that were always just like floating around and like ending up in random places. So I'm happy that I finally had a place to call them home. So here I'm just playing around to figure out where everything will fit. So we have some progress going on in here. You might notice this organizational piece. I'll link it below also. I have a two set of this and it's to organize pots and pans. It might be too dark, but in this cabinet, you can see I have a bunch of skillets stacked up on it. And I used to keep the other one right here on our little island thing with all of our cookbooks laid up in it. But I'm gonna move our cookbooks somewhere over in like the bookshelf region and slide everything down. And then I grabbed it, put it up here, and now we can store all of our baking pans, nice and easy, and our cutting boards. Not all of the plastic bags and saran wrap actually fit in that bin though, so anything that was left over or extra, I just tucked behind that shelf. Coffee break. I am now heavily caffeinated and it is time to just finish this project. I am tired of looking at this. So one of the main problems I had before I did this pantry reorganization was that all of my baking stuff was always really hard to get to, which made it really not fun to bake. That sounds kind of weird, but like the flour was always like way in the back and it was so heavy to lift the giant tub of flour out. So I knew that I want to organize it in a way that it was easy to access. And I'll give you guys a better in-depth view of this when I go over the final overview of everything. But this baking shelf is definitely one of my favorite spots in the pantry. Here are 
two of my favorite organizers and I've had them both long before I was even living in this apartment. The first one is this tea caddy that organizes all of my tea bags and the second is this acrylic organizer for my spices. I like to keep all of my Trader Joe's spices on this one because you can tell that they all look alike and they all line up really nicely. And I just put those two in front of the baking shelf before I moved on to my Lazy Susan. Now this Lazy Susan is where I keep all of the mismatched spices. I've always wanted to get all matching spice containers and decant them all into that, but it seems like a lot of work. Maybe I'll save that for the next house though. forgotten that I had my vanilla and almond extracts and my baking powder on that Lazy Susan so I reorganized the baking bin really quickly and then I went to move all of my oatmeal packets from the container they used to be in to this one that they fit nice and snugly in. It's actually really satisfying how perfectly they fit in this new bin. Now this shelf above the baking shelf is a little bit of a hodgepodge, it's a little bit of a mess. I don't know how much I could improve on the organization in here besides buying more and more bins, but I feel like the more bins I would put in here, the more busy it would get and the more disorganized it would eventually end up being. This is probably the least satisfying of all of the shelves. lost about what to work on next so I decided to just take a breather pause and then group everything left over so I put all of my cans together I pulled all my grains together my dried fruit and that really gave me the clarity to figure out like what I was gonna be doing with my last bin what I was gonna work on next and then I ended up realizing that I had some leftover pop containers to use so I cleaned it out and washed it out so I could put whatever my remaining brown rice was in there which was a great way to get rid of one bag and then have something a little bit more organized in the pantry probably already mentioned this one or two times in this video already but this pantry is like awkwardly deep so there's tons of space to put things like behind things and like way back into the pantry but obviously it's hard to be reaching over with items and like getting that far into there but I have found that previously it worked pretty well to put all of my cans all the way in the back of the cabinet so this hanging basket is from Ikea. I actually ordered it when I completely redid our master bedroom. I'll share that video here if you wanna watch that. I had this in mind for all of our onions and potatoes because they were always just rolling around and being super sloppy and messy in the pantry and I wanted a way to contain them. That wouldn't be an entire basket that took up a huge footprint in there. So I found this and it was the perfect solution. quinoa left in this container and I wanted to keep all of my greens together so I just decanted it into a little ziploc bag and then moved that to the bottom shelf in the pantry so I deemed this shelf on the pantry kind of like the greens because it has all of my pastas and my rice and all of my quinoa and uncooked lentils and everything like that so that ended up working out pretty well even though I didn't plan for it to end up like that Now all that was left was picking up and cleaning up our mess a little bit and then I'll be ready to show you the after shot. We are finally done. We have completed the project. Everything is gone. The counters are clean again, except that French press needs to be cleaned. And everything has a new home in the pantry. Are you guys ready to see the big reveal? very bottom shelf of that we have an oxo pop container with our brown rice we have some penne behind it some spaghetti behind that and then this little row has one of those clear plastic bins and it's full of dried fruit dried grains bacon bits and then like just a little random snack that had nowhere else to go and then behind it I also put a couple of boxes so we have our pancake mix and our graham crackers now over on this side we have our cereal container which is sadly empty and behind the cereal organizer I have the bin that's holding all of our tin foil saran wrap and backups of those products and I also stuck our rolling pin in that so that
that is nicely in there. On the second shelf of the bottom rack is all of our like bread goods. So I've got our tortillas, our rice cakes, our granola. And it might be hard to see, but I have all of our cans on their sides back there. The little rails on the rack keep them in place and stop them from rolling place to place. Now the top shelf of the rack has a Lazy Susan on it with most of our spices that are not from Trader Joe's. This drawer I think I am most proud of because it is so well organized. So first we have this tea caddy that I've had forever. So that's just push off to the side. It's really easy to pull out and check out. And then over here I have all of basically our Trader Joe's spices and then refill spices for our salt and pepper shakers. And when both of these are pulled out, everything back there is for baking. So we have flour, we have regular sugar, chocolate chips. Behind the chocolate chips is a same little pop container with brown sugar. And then this bin, it has this little handle that you can pull out and it has all of my baking stuff. So baking powder, extracts, butterscotch chips, baking chocolate, fondue chocolate, sugar cubes, all kinds of stuff in that. I left this big space in the middle, that way I can pull that to one side and then pull this out if I wanna grab something really quick. So that is why that drawer has like a giant gap in the middle. Now the next top drawer has a couple organization pieces. This hanging bin comes from Ikea and we have our onions and potatoes in it. I have one of the pull out containers for all of our oatmeal and packets, a bunch of loose stuff. And then over here I have my chia seeds and an another pop container. Now while this drawer is the most pretty, I think, this is definitely the most functional improvement. Adding that pan organizer is going to save so much time and frustration. I always hated grabbing a pan from down at the bottom. It was such a hassle. And then I have our Tupperware over there and then our measuring cups and our cutting boards. All of that will be so easy access. And then at the very top, very last, we have just some serving dishes, a griddle. The paper plates are easy to grab if we want to grab one. And those little triangle things are actually taco stands, which are super fun. Well, that is going to be it for our pantry organization. I am so excited to have that fully taken care of and tackled and organized and have like a nice system in place for it to not get sloppy again. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.